Today we'll be painting the nose, the nasus, in oil paint. This is the palette that I use. This is a very simple palette for illustrations like this. What I have on the left is white and then ultramarine blue and then transparent oxide red and yellow ochre. The brush I'm showing you right now is a number 12 Lang Nickel Royal Sable. This is a number four Lang Nickel Royal Sable. And then I also use a number 44, which is about an inch wide Royal Sable. Now we start with very thin paint and the smallest brush, the number four Royal Sable, and start roughing in the nose. Notice I use straight lines. I don't use curved lines to try to follow the curvature of the nose. You'll be a lot more accurate if you use straight lines rather than trying to follow the curves of a, a nose or any other object. Okay, now I take a mixture of skin tone, which is basically yellow ochre, white, transparent oxide red, and a touch of blue. Start laying in the higher values and lower values, which, is, which means the darks and the lights. Then I come back with my larger brush now and smudge or blend. Smudge the light values and the dark values together. If you want to learn more about values, open up our values video. Okay, still adjusting values, taking my number 12 Lang Nickel and placing some light values and dark values where I'm seeing them. Sometimes I'll use a live model, sometimes I'll use a photograph. In this case, I'm using a photograph of a person's face. Obviously, I'm just painting the nose. I won't develop the eye or the mouth. We're just studying the nose today. I use a glass palette, by the way. It's easy to mix paint on a glass palette. I'm painting on canvas. I got some of the dark values in there where the nostrils are. Make a correction here with the nostril. That's actually a shadow underneath the front part of the nose, and then the nostril is below that. Also notice the rim light or the small line of light right on top of the nostril. That defines the bottom part of the nose. Then there's a shadow between the 
tip of the nose and the nostril. That shadow right there. Okay, getting a little more completed. Edges are a little softer. Most of the edges on the nose are soft. There's very few hard edges on a nose. Just right where the nostril is sometimes. This is where the mouth would typically be. I don't worry too much about color. I'm more concerned about the drawing and the values and the edges. Those three elements are more important than color. If you use burnt sienna, yellow ochre, and white, you'll have a good skin color. Remember, we also have videos on painting the eyes, painting the mouth, painting the ears. Okay, we're just about to wrap it up here. I'm putting on a few more accents. Remember, an accent is a highlight. It's the lightest light or the darkest dark. Just the top of the forehead here a bit. Okay, that just about wraps it up. You can click on the request a video button if there's a particular subject you would like for us to paint. Thanks for watching.